Carnival Cruise Line's latest ship, Carnival Panorama, has just hit the Pacific Ocean. This final Vista-class ship offers several of the cruise line staples, as well as some new features of its own. We've just returned from a 7 eye cruise on this new vessel, and want to share it all with you. I'm DB from EatSleepCruise.com, and this is the 9 things we loved about Carnival Panorama, and the one thing we didn't. As part of the sports square, Carnival Panorama features the Skyride, like its sister ships. This two-lane bike course, suspended high above the ship, is a complimentary activity that allows you to pedal around while enjoying the bird's eye view. This is certainly an activity you won't find on any other cruise line. If biking isn't your thing, you can test your balance at the Sky Course with a series of different rope course challenges, all free on Carnival Panorama. For more great laughs, head to the Limelight Lounge, home to the Punchliner Comedy Club on Carnival Panorama. On several evenings of the cruise, this venue comes alive with both family-friendly and adult-only comedy shows. Be sure to check the Fun Times program for the most up-to-date times as you won't want to miss a show. During our seven-night cruise, there were four different comedians performing throughout the week, which also included late-night comedy featuring both comedians in the main theater. Unlike some cruise lines, Carnival Panorama has an adult-only sun deck that won't cost you a cover charge. The Serenity Adult-Only Retreat is a secluded space located on Deck 15 forward that is reserved for the 21 plus crowd. Even though Carnival Panorama is a family friendly ship, adults can escape to this retreat for some peace and quiet sans the kids. Serenity offers umbrellas, padded loungers, two hot tubs, a bar, and even some healthy lunch options at the Fresh Creation Salad Bar. Now you may not want to leave this oasis. Carnival Panorama sure knows how to throw a party. There are several parties held throughout the cruise, including the Mega Deck Party, the White Hot Night Party, and the 80s Rock and Glow Party. These parties are usually held either in the atrium or upstairs on the Lido Deck. There are also several opportunities for dancing around the ship, including live music in several venues, a Motown showdown, a 70s music party, and late night club hits in the Limelight Lounge. You better be prepared as the cruise director Emma and her entertainment team bring high energy to all these events. Speaking of other great happenings around the ship, do you have what it takes to be the next rock star of Carnival Panorama? Well, you don't have to be a karaoke sensation for the Carnival Panorama lip sync battle, but you do have to move it and shake it. Get your very own music, props, and back up dancers as you battle it out during a series of competitions throughout the cruise. Even if you don't plan to participate, being an audience member can be just as entertaining. Carnival Panorama brings the line's latest waterworks rendition to the pool deck for cruisers of all ages. This onboard water park features two water slides. Red Fun is a raft slide that will send you twisting and turning your way to fun, while Blue Fun is a body slide that sends you speeding down towards the pool deck. There's also a splash area for kids the Sky Zone on Carnival Panorama is a first at sea indoor trampoline park and challenge zone for thrill seekers of all ages. This arena is a two story, 3,000 square foot plus space. The Sky Zone is open all day on sea days and in the afternoon and evenings at Ports of Call, with multiple sessions offered for different age groups throughout the voyage. The arena offers a variety of activities, including a climbing wall, a balance and jousting beam basketball experiences, dodgeball, and more. One hour sessions can be purchased for $12. There's also scheduled bouncy fun activities for the little ones, age five and under, and a nighttime glow party that's $18 a person. We've never been big fans of cruise ship buffets. So on Carnival Panorama, we were thrilled that there were so many diverse dining options that we could skip the buffet altogether. With mouth-watering options from Guy's Burger Joint Mexican favorites for breakfast and lunch from the Blue Iguana Cantina, and Pizzeria del Capitano, located on the pool deck, serving pizza 24 hours a day. We didn't have to go far for a great meal. Other hidden gems also include the pasta bar at Cucina del Capitano and the Mongolian Walk at Gigi Asian Kitchen, open for lunch. There's also a barbecue lunch buffet at Guy's Pig and Anchor. All of these are also complimentary. Not to mention, there's even a sea day brunch in the MDR, offering all your favorite breakfast and lunch options 
like steak and eggs and delicious skillet cake. Plus, there's your typical multi-course dinners in the main dining room. With a menu that changes daily, coupled with classic offerings, it was certainly worth a few visits during our cruise. With a variety of atmosphere and decor, there's a bar or lounge for everyone on Carnival Panorama. For those who love live music, Piano Bar 88 offered soothing melodies or sing-along fun at late night. For those looking for handcrafted cocktails, the Alchemy Bar had some of the best drinks found anywhere on Carnival Panorama. For those who like to be in the center of the action, the Panorama Bar on Deck 3 in the atrium was a place to be. With the large LED dreamscape, live music, and events occurring throughout the cruise. Beer lovers like me will like Guy's Pig and Anchor Brew House, where you can actually take a brewery tour and sample one of the four craft beers brewed regularly on the ship. Or you could enjoy the game and a signature cocktail at the Heroes Tribute Bar, the first of its kind on a Carnival cruise ship. Of course, during the day, you can't overlook the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar and the Red Frog Rum Bar located near the beach pool to keep you hydrated throughout the day. With signature sangrias at the Serenity Bar on Deck 15, as well as some frosty concoctions at the Tides Bar on Deck 10, the hardest part might be determining which bar to go to next. For us, the biggest letdown was the Liquid Lounge. This main theater on Decks 4 and 5 of the ship is one of the poorest design theaters we've ever seen on a cruise ship. Many seats had obstructed views, and the lack of elevation made it difficult to find a seat that offered great vantage points for taking pictures or just watching the shows. Further, we really weren't impressed with many of the playlist productions on the ship. While our favorite was certainly Celestial Strings, the other shows, including the two new shows exclusive to Carnival Panorama, were not all that impressive. When compared to other mega ships that feature Broadway musicals and award-winning productions, we felt Carnival Panorama could certainly use some updated and modern entertainment to keep pace with its competitors. And there you have it. That's the nine things we loved about Carnival Panorama and the one thing we didn't. But of course, we'd love to hear from you. Have you sailed on a Vista class ship before? Let us know in the comment section below your favorite feature of this Carnival Cruise Line class of ship. I'm DB from EatSleepCruise.com and if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do go ahead and give us a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel or have been lurking around for a while and haven't gotten around to it, what are you waiting for? Make sure to subscribe down below and to click the notification icon. That way you get updated whenever we put out brand new cruise videos. You can also say hi to us all over social media at eat sleep cruise. And thanks again for watching.